So, we are still here in Montreal. We planned actually to leave Montreal yesterday. We packed the car up, we got all our food sorted, and all organized in the car to go. And the car wouldn't start. So, today we got up early. We've had the battery charging all night in the warmth and we brought it back down again. And first go, she started. Thank God, we're gonna get back on the road. Woohoo! Let's go to the United States! Last night the cable that charges the second battery just cracked from the minus 20 degree temperature. So yeah, we'll just get some fuses and cables and stuff to fix it up. We're going to use the petrol that's in our, uh, in our jerry can because it's cheaper to use it here and then we can fill it up again in the in yep. US where it's cheap to buy. Took me a while but I found it. Now I just need to figure out which one. Got what you needed? I did. <laughs> well, looks interesting. <laughs> We've got this little contraption here. Which we bought here in the US after making a Canada. big mess in Canada. Making a big mess in Australia many times trying to use a funnel. Water in there? Not really working. Do you need to have this higher or lower than the. Well, it should be it's higher already. Okay. Is it flowing through? Slowly. Yep, slowly, very slowly. I'll put it up a bit. It turns out it's not super easy to use. It flows very slowly, especially because we are not putting it so high. But we are patient. Yeah, we don't. It's only <laughs> we minus don't have eight. jobs. We don't have to go anywhere too soon. So. And it's only minus eight degrees outside today. Okay, Alex has just gone to wash his hands. They're a little bit covered in diesel. Let's hit the road. Let's do the border. I think we're about 20 or 30 k's away from the U.S. border into New Hampshire. So we're going to cross the border and hopefully we'll get to the new. I think it's White Mountain National Park this evening sometime. We'll sleep there in the car. I think it's gonna be about negative 16. And then we'll explore the, it's a national forest, so we'll try and do a few trails and tracks and explore around before we head down to Boston. We're trying to figure out what we do. We have this massive truck flying this way from the main road. And 
Officially. Officially leaving Canada. I'm sad. This is our third time entering the US. Yeah. In the last two months. In the last two months. Hi, how are you? Are these Australian plates? Yep. Sorry, it's just an interesting. Yeah, that's alright, we understand. No, we've entered, so we entered once at the airport in Seattle and then once again from Canada in this car. That's so weird, it drives on the right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> been, uh, how long are you going to be in the United States? Probably for another three months, so we're driving through to get to Mexico. Probably gonna be parking spots underneath the canopy see where it starts to turn into poles there yeah there's parking spots park there both of you are gonna need to come inside here okay yeah, okay yeah all right all right we didn't make it through without getting some sort of inspection the first time we no yeah so yeah, the last the time we came into the u.s there was no inspection at all the guy was just like checked out passport yeah. yep no worries these guys are a little bit more <laughs> which is probably a good thing because yeah we're a bit dodgy looking. <laughs> All right, half an hour later, we're back in the car. So they stopped us to just ask us about the trip, ask us how we were making money, how long we were going to stay in the US. They gave us three months to be here, which is a little bit less than we were hoping for. Um, they came and they did a big check of the car. They threw out some of the, the fruit that we had. But apart from that, we're all good to go, so. We are allowed into the US. Oh! That's all that matters. Let's yeah. do it. Lunchtime. Mm-hmm, late lunch. We've been driving since... 10, I think. 10, 10 maybe. Yeah. How's this Not lunch? really driving, but doing customs and stuff. It's nice, nice and spicy. So we're in America. We've got another maybe 50 k's to go, I think, until we get to Littleton, which is the place we're going to camp tonight. So there's a Walmart there, so it can be safe. We don't know how cold it's going to get yet, but I think it's going to be pretty cold. Well, it's it's definitely going to be up. It's minus eight at the moment, and the coldest we've camped at so far has been negative five. So it's going to be interesting to see if we get cold or not. in the afternoon and the sun's gone down already. The sun's gone down. Welcome to winter in the United States. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to get to our campsite before it gets too too dark. Alright so we're just arriving in Littleton which is just out of the White Mountain National Park and it's super dark already it's only quarter to five. So we're going to stop for the night because it's a bit dangerous driving at night time. So now we've got to find Walmart. Should I go right? I think we're going right to turn right. right. Yeah, turn right. It's minus 8 degrees outside and we're prepping the bed up. Yeah, Walmart's so just, right there. We're just putting up our curtains to try and keep in as much warmth as we can. We've had the heater going in here so it's about 20 degrees I think inside. We don't want to let any of that heat go. Yep. It's going to be cold tonight. It's going to be cold and we might go into Walmart, do a bit of walking because it's pretty early still. 
and hope the car won't get that cold but the reality is we're gonna stay in the car at minus 10. Typical night for us when it's cold in the United States. We're here in Walmart so I don't know if you know but in the United States basically all the Walmarts invite caravanners and travelers to park in their car parks during the night time so you get free kind of accommodation and sometimes you get Wi-Fi and there's toilets a lot of them in 24 hours this one here it's gonna close at 10 tonight so we're just camping around here waiting for it to get a little bit later so that we can go to bed doing some work for the website we might go and have something to eat and then get into bed I think it's gonna be negative nine tonight so we're gonna survive it's not gonna to be too bad it was too cold to have dinner in the car we couldn't be bothered cooking so guess where we are Look at this delicious meal. Not bad though. One double cheeseburger, two mac chickens, one fries, and a soft drink for six dollars fifty. That's why people love McDonald's in America. things you can do is to go to bed with the same clothes that you wore during the day because the clothes you wear during the day get super humid from all of the activity that you do so if you're laying still at night with them you get pretty cold so we've just gone and changed all our gear putting my gloves and my scarf and my beanie on so I don't get cold head let's go to bed how cold is it I think it's negative nine or something like that not sure, I have to check on the car. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm not feeling too bad. I think we'll be warm. We've got to find a spot for the key. Okay. We feel confident it's pretty warm. I've got no gloves and one layer only. You need your scarf. No, I'm good. You'll get cold. I feel good. You'll get cold when it gets to negative I 10. I feel good. Alright guys, sleep tight. Thank you.